Gravity the Ghost! Hi everyone, it's Gravity the Ghost, and uh, I'm here out in the middle of nowhere. No, I'm actually, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, on my way over to the cinema, to, well, the Regal Cinema, because I'm going to go see Detective Pikachu today. Um, I'm actually really early. As of now, it is about, uh, I think 11 or something. Yeah, 11 o'clock. And the movie that I'm going to doesn't start until 1. So I have a couple hours of free time. So I decided maybe I'll do a vlog video of some sort. Uh, oh, I'm not going over there. There's a big hole over there. I'm going to move the other way. Um, anyways... You know, I'm ready for Dag to Pikachu. I got I got a Pop Leo shirt on uh, to show my love for the Pokemans. And <laughs> uh, we're just going to vlog for today. Just tell you about how I'm going to waste my life, waste about three or four hours of my life outside of my home for once. See, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> wow, guess it came early. There is no one here. There's rarely any cars in this parking lot. I guess that means more for me, <laughs> more space for me, means I can get a front row seat over in McDonald's to see the movie. I mean, it doesn't start for another hour or two, but still. Yeah, I'm done walking in the grass, and now I'm walking in a pavement. Uh, I'm gonna go over to re inside and see how and see how much the move the tickets are, just so I know beforehand. And then I'm also gonna pay for my uh, <laughs> for my for popcorn, cause even though it's expensive as heck. And uh, I'm gonna go check that out. So turns out I actually came way too early. They're not even open yet. I mean, I can walk inside. It's just that you can't really walk anywhere past the front door. I mean, I can look at how much tickets cost. Uh, those are expensive, but try and see uh, I mean the first detective Pikachu movie starts at 12 but I'm not gonna go to that one we'll go to the one o'clock one so being as how I'm in a, I'm in a it's more like well this place used to be a mall but now it's more like an outdoor mall where the stores are outside so we're just gonna check out stores until then uh, until maybe about 30 minutes before the movie starts or 40 so yeah let's go do it all right just looking around yeah, I mean, I've been here many times before, but I've never been here by myself. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> it's not like I need anyone to be with me, but I just don't really have any friends. <laughs> ah. But anyway, we got a couple places that we can go to. There's a subway nearby. There's a Walmart, but that has a McDonald's in it, so we can go there to eat. There's also a GameStop. Uh, we can see if there's anything that... Uh, would be cool to buy. I mean, I wasn't anticipating any buying other than like movies and popcorn <laughs> And there's a couple clothing stores and other places, so I think we should check it out um, Other than that, it's pretty chilly today. Um, that's why I got the jacket on So yeah, let's get to some fun Okay, so I was in GameStop for a little bit and it was actually pretty cool because the, the the girl that was working there, she gave me a Detective Pikachu poster for free, which I thought was great because I was telling her about how I was about to go see the movie. She also gave me a promo card, uh, if I can find it. it Look like Snubble. Well, it's just, uh, yes, the movie design. Snubble. And uh, since I, you know, I wanted to buy something anyway, I decided to buy a Brion figure. Uh, Brion is my favorite of the, of the Poplio line. Out of Free Marina, Poplio, and Brion, I like Brion the most. It's the cutest. Um, I mean, it was only five bucks. Why not? I like collecting figures uh, and plushes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're done with that. Uh, it's so we got uh, maybe an hour and a half before movie starts. Um, gonna go over to Walmart and eat at McDonald's, even though it's obviously it's <laughs> it's not the most healthy place to eat, but hey, it's cheap. 
Now we on a budget here. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna do some 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 tomfoolery here at Walmart. <clears throat> Looking at it. Look at these games. Look at the uh, Switch games. They're they're running out. Uh, uh, I mean, I bought Saints Row. My other Walmart. Look, it's 3284. So we got it's a seven dollar discount. So yeah, if you want to get Saints Row, don't want to pay the full forty, go to Walmart. <laughs> and for some weird reason, all of the Switch, all the sixty dollar Switch games are ten dollars off. Don't know what's up with that, but hey, get on it. <laughs> if you haven't played any of those games, you get on it. Literally every Nintendo game is now $50 at Walmart. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> but hey. I'm going to actually use it to maybe buy a game or two. Buy a game if uh, I'm interested. Well, we got some anime posters too. Some My Hero Academia ones too. They look pretty cool. $5. I might come back for that. Alright. I'm at McDonald's now. Um... Got a Diet Coke. Uh, uh, saw that they had a two for five deal, so might as well get that. Uh, fun fact about me: uh, I've actually never gotten a Big Mac before, so this will be my oh, whoops! This will be my first time eating one. So this should be interesting. Maybe it doesn't start for another hour, so we'll be here for a while. Alright, here it is in all its glory. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a part of this two for five deal, so. Hey, it was. I think the original price was like, what, $4 or something? So, hey, $2 off. Why not? <laughs> I took off the pickles because I don't eat pickles. It's not my kind of thing. So, it's gonna be hard to take this thing out without making a mess. Oh my gosh. This is really big. Uh, uh. Alright, here goes. <laughs> Tastes like a regular burger, except with more, has a, it's more bread on it. It's three pieces of bread on this thing. Um, it tastes a little bit of the Big Mac sauce. Um, it's pretty cool, I guess. I was expecting something completely different, but I was like, yeah, it's just a burger. <laughs> so I guess mystery solved there. It's going to be an exciting week for me. A couple reasons. One, I'm going to watch a movie today. Woo! Also, on Saturday, May 18th, it's my birthday. I'll be turning 21 years old. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, I kind of do want to do a birthday stream, but... I know my family's gonna take me out somewhere on my birthday, so we'll see about that. Also, I just found out that there's gonna be a Mario Maker Direct tomorrow. By the time this video is uploaded, it'll probably be um, come. Oh, the Direct will probably be coming out today, well, on that day. But um, what I'm basically saying is there should be a fun week. Also, the new Nintendo Online games, the NES games, come out tomorrow. I'll be making a video on that as well. Hoping to get into a lot of other things for the summer. Uh, it should be very much fun. I'm also planning for E3 to do a live reaction to E3, from Nintendo's E3. I'll also, maybe have a couple friends uh, re react with me. Um, so that should be fun. Um, other than that, uh, this should be a, this is gonna be a really nice week. Uh, hoping that you guys are enjoying me. <laughs> I know I haven't uploaded content for like a month, but that was because I had finals and I had final projects and essays I had to write for the entire month of April, so um, thanks for being patient, and uh, it's, though I'm at the magnum opus of these videos are finally here, and I can give all 415 of you a reason to keep, to keep watching my stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to eat my food, and then after that we're going to go back over to the theater, and uh, we're going to try to get our ticket for the 1 o'clock movie. Alright. Let's, let's, let's do it. Alright, this is going to be the last update before the movie starts. It's a half hour. Um, 
I just got my ticket. Um, and now I'm gonna get some popcorn and a drink. And then I can finally watch the movie and then I won't be able to record, obviously. <laughs> but um, after that, I will record and tell my off the wall, not really off the wall, but just basic impressions. So yeah, hope you have fun. Whew. So I just finished watching the movie. And boy, oh boy, it was in, it was a journey. Uh, it was great. Um, I'm not gonna talk about like spoily parts, but I was happy in the fact. Oh wow, that was loud. <laughs> Anyways, I was pretty happy by the fact that it did follow somewhat the plot of the games of the Detective Pikachu game. But obviously, it took its own creative liberties. <laughs> And whoa, there was a lot of twists and turns and such. It was very interesting. Now, I didn't get to finish the 3DS game. I think I got halfway through. But overall, I enjoyed it. Um, definitely worth the ticket. The $9 ticket that I had to pay. Uh... But I, th I honestly really enjoy it. Uh, I probably want to talk more about this maybe when I get home. Because the next thing I got to do is just catch the, the public bus so I can get home. <laughs> I have no idea where they stop at. <laughs> I don't come here often. So yeah, I'll get back to you in, in a few hours or so. Alright, I'm finally home. Um... <laughs> Getting to the, uh, getting home was pretty interesting, but, yeah. Oh, man, that, still thinking about it, the movie was pretty fun. Um, I'm not gonna get into spoilers, obviously, uh, I'll let you guys watch the movie for yourselves, or wait for it to come on DVD, or eventually it may become Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Um, but, my overall impressions, I really liked it, uh, I really like the uh, all the Pokemon that they showed off, all the references that they made. Um, I really enjoyed the humor. There was a lot of really good humor. Um, there was some adult humor too uh, that kids won't get, um, but hey, you gotta keep the you gotta keep the parents interested too. And also to make the point that it's really not pandering towards children. It's it's more like it's pandering towards actual fans of the game, which nowadays. The typical fan base of Pokemon is, um, you know, teens to young adults to 20-somethings. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to unbox this Brion that I got at GameStop while I'm talking. So, if I look down, you know why. Um, <laughs> but, one of my favorite things about the movie was... Um, just how the Pokemon interacted with everyone, with the people in the world. It just felt natural. <laughs> to be honest, I, I would want to live in that world. Heck. There we go. Uh, hey look, it's Brion. This looks pretty nice. It'll definitely uh, have a nice, some nice room on my shelf right here. Put it right there. It can stand on its own too, so it's great. <laughs> Um, but, uh, one thing that I do know I need to do is, uh, get to finish the Detective Pikachu movie. I mean, the, the, the 3DS game. Finish the 3DS game, because I actually haven't finished that. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's one of those things telling you to look for all the Pokemon in the, in the set. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Though, there's a lot of cool ones here. Do they got Drampa? They do not. Well, this means nothing to me then. I would like, if anyone knows if there's a Drampa plush out there, just tell me and I will buy it. But anyways, uh, I'm, I'm getting off topic. Overall, the movie was great. Um, I would recommend it to anyone who moderately likes Pokemon or knows about Pokemon. But if you're not a fan of Pokemon... And maybe you're going for with a friend, or you're taking your kids, or um, something of the sort. I think it's still a movie that you can enjoy. 
Um, it's not too heavy on like actual like Pokemon mechanics that for what we know and love from the games. It's more like a like I said like the Detective Pikachu game is a side story. It's a little different than a typical Pokemon game. It's not about battling. It's not about training. It's about a mist. It's a mystery movie, <laughs> just like how the the uh, the game is a mystery game, just set in the Pokemon universe. And I like that. And I hope that then uh, if they make more Pokemon movies, that there are more games, um, like. I hope there are some movies that are based on the games, but I do hope there are some original stories, too. Um, like, one idea I had was what they did, you know, with this Pokemon talking thing. What if they use this to make a, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon movie? And maybe make it based on the originals, where it was a human that's turned into a Pokemon? Um, kind of like, um, I don't know. You know, you know, like how, you know, Ryan Reynolds is with Pikachu had to have uh, people... You know, um, people, you know, voice the Pokemon rather than their actual anime or cry or whatever. Um, it would be kind of, it would, it'd be kind of a little bit weird, but people that have played Mystery Dungeon would get it. And, uh, or we could just have another story based off of certain, uh, certain Pokemon in the spotlight. And it's, uh, I'll think of it. It's too much to think about. Uh, but yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching this vlog of me vlogging for the past uh, four hours <laughs> from start to finish. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I mean, obviously, you didn't stick with me the whole four hours. It's probably only going to be ending up like a 10-minute video or something. And I'm sorry for the uh, smoke alarm. They're beeping really loud. I need to put some batteries in there. I got to get a stool. I don't want to do that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, you can leave a like. Or if you want to you know, watch more of me, you can subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. Um, other things too. I mean, I just made an Instagram account. I mostly post my art there, but hey, it's there. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, this has been Grab the Ghost. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.